Hello, everybody. My name is Sentinel, and welcome back to Lisa the Oblivious. Now, in the last episode, we started the game, and uh, I ran into a little bit of difficulty when it came to playing, because, uh, lo and behold, I am not good at Lisa games. I have played so many of them, and I still don't know what the hell I'm doing. Which kind of sums up adulthood, I think. Because of that, I actually went through and replayed the whole first part of the game so we could get more items, have more HP, and hopefully have an easier time with this guy because Sledgehammer Sam is uh, scary and hits harder than my dad. So what I'm going to do here is actually mount. I'm going to... There you go, buddy. Great. Okay, so low aim, which means it's good to be up here, but I'm actually going to... Would this be good? It's an HP penalty. It requires 30 SP from Rick. I actually don't think I want to do that. I'm going to try and stun here. It's... Oh! That actually worked. Huh. You know, I don't expect things to actually work out for us. So whenever it does, I'm always surprised. It's a Lisa game. It's not... Okay, cool. Low aim. Great. I was a little stunned that Richard is completely useless. I... I just... I love that he used... I love that he uses his tiny arm. Like, I'm not... There's not the... <laughs> well, he's doing the best he can. That's all we can ask for. <laughs> but boy, is it funny every time. Uh, I'm actually going to dismount here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the coward's way out. Normally, I'd go for a stun. You know, you're always supposed to go big dick energy. But here, I'm going to go small PP energy and run away. Just like all my other problems. Okay, it's not looking good. But it's going... It's going very poorly. Very quickly. When in doubt, bottle them. Just like in real life, if you ever get in a fight, you use a bottle, you pull your pants down and run out, do something. You gotta swap it up, you know? If you try to pro... Good job. If you try to approach it like a normal fight, you're gonna lose. When in doubt, cheat it out. I'm not saying you have to lie and cheat and steal. If it'll give you an advantage, then you should do it. That's what I'm saying. If you ever get caught cheating on a test, just tell your teacher or your professor. Sentinel said it's okay. Just, just don't tell them who I am. Just, just say that. That'll, that'll be fun. All right, it's not going well. I thought the bottle would actually save us and fix everything, but uh, it's, it's not working. So we're on Hill Richard. I really wish. So Richard bit someone's head off at the start of the game. Does anyone else remember that? You guys remember that when Richard, you know, instantly killed someone, and then he never did it again. Maybe later on, but I was kind of hoping that Richard would you know, twist someone's head off, or at the very least, their nipples. There, You gotta do something. Like, there's gotta be something we can do here, because otherwise, this is absolutely brutal. I... Sticky's dead. You couldn't have done that earlier when I needed you to... Oh, thank you! You got me back up just so I could die again. Okay. Way to kick a man while they're down, Richard. It's not going well. That's... You know what? I can work with this. I can work with this. We've used up three mystery jerkies, though. Which is a little... That's... You know, maybe some people would say... That's not worth it. And I'd be inclined to not agree. It was so worth it. Is a future at the price of an innocent suffering a future worth striving for? Sometimes? Maybe? Probably not. I'm kind of leaning on not. But I did level up. Which makes it all so worth it. I mean, what's one person's alive? Oh, he's still alive. Never mind. <laughs> oh, I thought he was dead. Are you alright? That got out of hand. He tried to murder us. Okay, listen, I'm on this guy's team. Don't get me wrong. But he did try to kill us. I'll live. I really, I, I'm honestly surprised. I still don't understand why he has scars down there, but I respect it. I just hope she's safe. Me too. I also hope you know the implications of all of this. The harm she'll suffer if she hasn't suffered already. I wouldn't dream of hurting her. Well, it's not about you, Sticky, okay? Listen, man, not everything's about you. It's the, you know, whole army of dudes that want to, you know, I'm sure Rando wouldn't either. Have you even thought about the position you're putting her in? Just think about what sort of future you're bringing. No, Sticky doesn't think that far ahead. If we had any idea what the hell we were doing, we wouldn't be here like this. It'll be fine. It won't be fine. Okay. Yep. All right. I'm taking your campfire. 
That it's mine now. Thank you. I showed up, asked this guy a question. Oh, to be fair, he tried to kill me. Beat his ass and then took his campfire. Nice. Sticky has seen better days. I mean, so is Richard, but Sticky has seen better days. I do trust Rando. I wouldn't have started us on this path if I didn't. There's not much I can do anymore with the state both of us are in. So it's really up to him. I'm sure he's doing great. He's doing so well. I'm sure he'll do a far better job than Brad ever did. Not that it'd take much to do better than that. Dude, okay, listen, fuck you guys, all right? You guys were there too. That's all I'm saying. Like, you guys were raising her as well. Partially to blame, might I add. You should have gone buddy to them sooner, you know? Maybe things could have been different. Oh, you're right. Brad would never have let it happen. They're just too stubborn. All right, listen, I'm sorry. I just, he's just, the way he's looking at him with those bedroom eyes, I just, the Rando army knows how to take care of people though. That's why I joined their ranks. I owed Rando for it. Rando, he knows what it means to take charge. And he's got a tight ass. <laughs> so much has happened so fast. I'm still processing it. All this means. Same here, buddy. It's rough out here. You told me something. It's been on my mind ever since. I figure the secret's safe with you. Yeah, I, I don't think Richard's gonna go <laughs> and blab to anyone. We had a meeting, in private once. Both of us needed to trust each other. So he told me something he hadn't told anyone. I would never have guessed, of all people, that timid little boy Brad brought into our lives all those years ago. Our nephew, Dustin. Who would have thought he'd become such a powerful figure like Rando? That guy was a huge pussy. <laughs> That's kind of messed up, but I get it. I mean, uh, comparing Dusty and Rando is pretty nutty. Huh. Look at me, rambling away like this. I can't tell if you're reacting to my words or just the sound of my voice. I don't think he's reacting at all. I miss talking with you, not just at you. Good night, Rick. Poor Sticky. Kinda. I mean, poor Sticky. Like, I, I, it's, it's weird because like I don't necessarily hate Sticky and Rick. But, oh, oh, it's sweet, but also kind of like. Come on, man. Like, listen, you're a little too close. You know, personal space, buddy? He says as he climbs on top of his back to ride him like a horse. But I, I, I'm i always I'm always conflicted when it comes to the whole, like, rando and, uh... Wow. I... That, wow, that's a really cool effect. A little spooky, though. But I like it. This is really neat. Very beautiful fan game. But yeah, it's always been something that's interesting to debate is the whole rando army thing with Buddy because Buddy's just a child, you know? Probably, probably, and by that probably, I mean definitely should stay far away from people. Oh, an item. Mystery jerky, nice. I need that after I just wasted all mine and I... A secret, six magazines. I... A little curious that we need magazines. I don't think people are going to be trading with me, but... Yeah, it's the, it's Olathe, who knows? Oh, hi, that's not no one gonna talk about. I really wish you would give me a word of warning before you decide to jump off a cliff. But sure. Found some mystery jerky. Now that seems like the obvious way to go and uh, you know me. I like to explore half the time and then not do the rest of the content. So eight more magazines, it's worth it. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I think we might. But I think I'm about to have to kill a man. I get, I, I, all right. Oh, is it worth dropping? Oh, I'm gonna get the item. Yeah, why not, right? Deterrent. I think we just call those guns in the States. Prevents Rick from licking you while you're not mounted. Bad monster. Well, he's your friend, you dick. Just because he's grotesque looking and in, by all terminology, a, a giant stinking monster doesn't mean you should be calling him a monster, okay? Listen, it's not his fault he still plays Fortnite. Have you seen the new game mode? Can you blame him? Man, I'm really taking 10 damage every time. You get like Rick some like pads or something. I don't know, like some shoulder pads some football. Okay, cool. Oh, hey, maybe I could trade with people and they won't think I'm a giant, disgusting monster breeder. Hey, you there. Okay, Rick. You've seen them, haven't you? The mutants. I, oh, I've seen them. They come in all shapes and sizes. Same. Well, let me tell you. The other day I saw one with the fattest nut. It's okay, Rick. 
We all know he's not talking about you, buddy. Hey, buddy. I'm gonna take your bottle. Oops, sorry. I meant to talk to him, but I guess I just stole his bottle. Hmm. Cave life isn't so bad, you know? No, it seems pretty bad. There's one gang down here, but they don't bother most folk. Sometimes you just have to do it and see what happens. Do what? Do what? That's a little worrying. Not as worrying as we will be when we show up to that gang and kill literally everyone. Because that's what matters out here is murder. Yeah. Good job, Rick. What's... Wow, this game is actually opening up. I did not expect... I really didn't expect much of anything, honestly. Like, I didn't know what to expect. But this is really cool. I understand why from a gameplay perspective. But thinking in canon, in lore, in a worldly sense, that Rick and Sticky cannot... Man, do I really have to say they dismount each other? To say they dismount each other in specific spot, Man, why you guys gotta... Why is it... The fact that they have to dismount each other in specific air... Ooh, soup. Hey. Oh, nice. I actually needed... I should probably talk to that guy. So... I could take his hammer, though. Hey, buddy, can I... Er, who's that random man, are you? No, I'm just... Listen, he can't have... He just can't own red and blue. Let me give you some advice, little man. You're moving into spider territory. I hate spiders. They ain't unreasonable folk, but they aren't keen on strangers who bring trouble with them. I wouldn't go wandering through here willy-nilly if I were you. Well, his name is Ricky. It's not trouble, so... They let me hang around because I stopped the place from flooding out. Okay, well, I'm gonna take your hammer. Thank you. Yeah, but wait, does he have dialogue? Is that my damn hand? Oh, I regret it. This isn't a charity service, son. Well, now I'm gonna have to bash your head in with this hammer. I do respect your cleavage, though. I've gotta... Uh, I guess I'm gonna kill him. Oh, that did... Wow, that didn't do a lot. I'm just curious. I have to... Know. Does punching do less? My punch hit harder than the hammer. I kind of understand why Mike Tyson doesn't use these now. He just... Did you just... Why does it do more? I just... Why does it... it he was... He has hard body on it. He's... Oh my God. His fists are so strong. Like, I, I just... What's the point of the hammer? Here, you want the hammer back? And take it. Okay, that stunned him. Now I'm going to punch. Was I punching him with the hammer? You sure you want to go down this route? Like, this is super embarrassing. Okay, it's super embarrassing for me, actually. As <laughs> it turns out. Oh, whoa, that's way too good. Hold up. I do not want to do that. I'm going to eat that. Man, you really made me... Seriously, a mystery jerky for this guy? This chuckle fuck? Stop pouring water on me. Just die. Just die. Thank you. Well played, little man. It really wasn't. I punched you to death with a hammer. I, uh, I mean, at least he's not dead, I guess. All right, let's just get out of here. I hate this place. This place sucks. I got attacked by a plumber. It's not usually what you do with plumbers. I have a lot of intensive knowledge about them over the internet, and that is the last thing you do with plumbers. Oh, hi. Why? Tell a story to lift the spirits. Transfer 20% of your SP to your ally. Thank you. That is actually really good. Because now I can just... Why is he doing that? Why are you there? Jumper? Is that in his... Where is that rope to hide to? Because it's going between... You know what? Let's just not worry about it, you know? Oh, tangled? Hey, hold up. Whoa, buddy. He, ooh, okay, that's all right. You know what? Uh, I know it's doing damage to me, but I don't care anymore. Never mind, I kind of care. Uh-oh. Punch him with your hammer. Trust me, it works. Punch him with your hammer. Good job. Okay, well, uh, never mind. Richard wrestles with a rope. He's being an idiot. Good job, Richie. I'm gonna do an anecdote here. Wow, what a great story. Do you remember when our lives weren't total garbage, Rick? 
Exactly. Neither do I. Headbutt him. Okay, he's... All right, great. I'm sorry, Tyrantula. I've let you down. I hate you for that name. That is... Oh, I mean, I respect it, but I hate you. Hey, we got... We got rope. I kind of... That'll leave a mark. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Just stop talking. I don't want that rope. I know where that rope's been, and I do not want... All right, I'll be back. Hold up. You know, I just realized I've been calling him Richie when his name is Rick because of Sticky. And I hate that. I hate that it's Cheeks, Rick, and Sticky because I want to call him Richie or Ricky because he looks like a Ricky to me. You know what I mean? Right? No one's going to agree with this, but that's how I feel. Found some mystery jerky. Sweet. I'm not going to heal. You know what? Sticky can take it. If he dies, he dies. It's kind of like a doctor approach to things. You know what I mean? Oh, thank you. All right, we can rest up here, get some HP and SP back, tell a couple campfire stories, maybe sing a campfire song. I have to say, I love whenever Lisa fan games utilize campfires. The one that comes to mind the most for me is Hopeful, and I really like that kind of like character building in between. Like moments when the characters are resting is just the perfect time to utilize something like that. So I'm glad this game is utilizing it. I haven't seen one like that and. Nights come so rarely nowadays. It really feels like this is the end of something. Everything? I mean, everyone's dead. We were all friends for decades. The four of us. Crazy, huh? I don't think Rick cares anymore. Sorry. I think he's moved on. Brad didn't think that I... No, he knows I wouldn't. Does he? I... Doesn't he? No. No, because I'm pretty sure I thought you did too, maybe. It's actually been long enough that I don't remember what I thought when, uh, you know, they had that whole scene with Sticky. I don't think Sticky did. I don't think most people think Sticky did. But I would really prefer if Sticky stayed away from Buddy. <laughs> but no, Brad doesn't know that. He's on a rampage, and I love him for it. That's what I love about Brad. Takes no fucks, gives no fucks. Li oh, God. Well, I am Rick. Which is, uh, pretty much... Oh, yep, this is hell. Great. I hate it here. Hey. Hi. Uh, well, that's... <laughs> Probably not what you want to see in your house. Sure. Getting some of them locked. Uh, hi. Is it... Junior? Anyone? Oh, hi, buddy. There you are, champ. I was worried about you. What's the matter? You can talk to your old man, can't you? No point. What's... Oh, I mean, I... Listen, just because I turned into a big, disgusting monster doesn't mean you have to treat me like one, all right? I don't want to do this fake, happy family bullshit with you. I'm not stupid. You and mom don't even like each other that much. That's not... Okay, true, but... If we didn't sign a prenup, all right? Listen. You gotta stick it out. It's my fault, isn't it? No, not at all. You're right. Things aren't so great with your mother right now, and they haven't been for a while. But it's never been because of you. I'm sorry for belittling you, son. When did Rick belittle him? I mean, I don't, maybe he was. I don't know. But Rick seems like a good dude to me. Whatever happens, we'll still work through this as a family, all right? Yeah, that's only if. You don't abandon me by then. You know what? I'm actually curious now because maybe Junior died in the flash, but we don't actually ever see anything else about Junior. But I mean, we don't really see anything else about Rick's personal life, right? Aside from that one segment in Painful. But I do love that we're getting these little bits of moments, right? It's awesome that we actually get to experience the... past memories that help build Rick's character. And even though it's a fan game, I love this kind of thing. You don't, you don't think anything's wrong with this, buddy? Just... Oh, oh okay. Uh. Alright, get fucked, loser. Bye-bye. Uh, hi. Ha oh, I'm balding. Yay. Oh, Rick. Nothing new to report on my end. Stand and look out was uneventful, thank God. Did you find anything good in the house? Uh, just, you know, the shattered memories of all my hopes and dreams. And my dead wife. And my dead son. 
The place was ransacked. Everything from my old life is gone. They even took my old wedding photos. Oh, you know why they took those. <laughs> Shit, man. I'm sorry. My nipples are out. All our nipples are out now. You know, things weren't going so good with Shelly. But she didn't deserve this. And Junior? Heaven knows where he is now. Hopefully not dead. I couldn't even reach out to him after all this. He's probably devastated. And alone. I hope wherever they are, both of them ended up somewhere better. I hope, and I don't think we'll get to see it, but I hope Junior pops up just because the reunion with Rick is a monster would be really cool. Well, no sense dwelling on it, right? Yeah, just just get over it, idiot. I know you just found out that your family's gone and you'll never see him again, but get over it. It's been two minutes, okay, buddy? Like you said, things weren't working out with you and Shelly anyway, right? I don't know. I mean, you still love her. I, she's kind of an asshole, but I, you know, you still kind of, you know, you make it work. Maybe things could have still worked out. I know it got rough. There was a lot of talk about divorce, but I was willing to keep trying no matter what. And just because you want to divorce someone or it's not working doesn't mean you want them to die in a giant apocalypse, right? Maybe. And now I can't even do that. Dude. You were miserable for years. We never heard the end of it. You need to think of this as like a fresh start. Fresh start? This isn't just about Shelly. We're living through an extinction event for pity's sake. This isn't just the end of the life that I built. Or the end of my marriage. It's the end of humanity itself. I can't just start over. This is it. All of human achievement ends here. All of civilization, art, history, technological advancement. Kaput. Unless a woman magically springs out of nowhere. That's looking less likely by the day. We still have body pillows. That's all I'm saying, all right? My one chance at having a family of my own is gone. Body pillows? None of you understand what it feels like. All you want to do is sit around laughing and drinking like we're still young and have time to kill. I, I mean, we can't really do anything else. Who wants to rebuild society? I give up. Like, it hasn't even happened yet for me, and I've already given up. Sorry, Sticky. I didn't mean to flip out like that. It's all right, man. You're working through it, kind of. Not really. And you're right. I don't really get it. I never had much to lose to begin with. I want to ride it out with you. Thank you. Oh, look at us. We're best friends and it's going so well. Yeah, boy. I'm here for you, man. Yeah, cool. Thank you. Great. My lot. It's kind of weird, but all right. I cut. Oh, it's getting weird. Oh, it's getting weird. Oh, wow. That, hey, I really like this effect. We've never gotten to see anything like this. And I like this different interpretation of becoming like a joy mutant, right? Uh, oh, it's one of those games. Hey, buddy. Hey. Here on out, there's no way back. Okay. Well, I don't, I mean, I can't really, you don't really go to the left in these games. You kind of hold down on right and you just kind of go. It's always worked before. Rick? Rick, where are you? Hey, buddy. It, oh, it's all right. Just got to lose a couple pounds. Damn it, Rick. You can't wander off like that. Not now. Yeah, you dumb animal. What am I saying? You're not Richard anymore. That's kind of fucked up, but true. You're no better than an animal. That's actually kind of messed up because that implies animals aren't that great, which I... Listen, I'd put animals above joy mutants if I'm being honest. I don't know what I was thinking. Heck, I'm surprised you haven't torn me limb from limb. Fine. You're gonna wander off anyway, I'll press on alone. That's- Dude, you just walked away. This doesn't- Why- Why are you being such a dick? You're being a douche nozzle. The creepy crawlies. Kill him. Do it. Get- Okay, sure. Alright, cool. Alright, we're a team again. Woo! Anyway- that's all the time we have for this episode. In the next episode, I assume we're going to go and uh, probably run into the creepy crawlies, which is a very... I'm not looking forward to it. But I am enjoying this fan game a ton. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave a comment down below. That's going to do it for this one. I hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye!